Jason Momoa is officially single. Unsurprisingly, there are already some candidates for his next sweetheart. But who will it be? An old Game of Thrones co-star? A model? An on-screen lover? Keep watching to hear our best guesses. Jason Momoa and Amelia Clark starred on HBO's Game of Thrones as Khal Drogo and Daenerys Targaryen, respectively, back in 2011. Any fan of the show knows how compelling and tragic their love story was. Nevertheless, as a quick refresher, Drogo was a brute who became a lovable, devoted partner to Daenerys, only to die at the end of season one. Hey, what did anyone expect? If you started to like anyone in GOT, they were pretty much guaranteed to get killed off. Well, fans grew fond of the actors in real life, too. The pair stayed close over the years, with Clark even telling Rolling Stone in 2017 about their first introduction. Clark explained that she entered the hotel absolutely wiped out after a day of travel. She added, From the other side of this enormous lobby, I hear, Wifey! And this huge Hawaiian man comes bounding over to me, picks me up, and gets me in a rugby tackle to the floor. Clark then turned to Momoa and said, quote, Who are you? Sounds about right. In August 2021, both shared photos on Instagram of their reunion at a birthday party for GOT showrunner David Benioff. Momoa captioned his post, Moon of my life. You are wonderful. Love you forever. The photo featured a pic of Clark sitting on his lap. Obviously, the comment section went wild. Amber Heard starred alongside Jason Momoa in the 2018 DC Comics film Aquaman, in which she played his titular character's love interest, Mira. Following her contentious split from Johnny Depp, some fans rallied to have her booted from Aquaman, but that simply wasn't going to happen. As Heard, who identifies as bisexual, explained to the Sunday Times in 2015, I never thought I would get married, but I've always loved who I've loved. Well, some fans may feel it's time for her to love Momoa, especially since the duo bonded on the set of the first of these aquatic action movies. Heard said on Good Morning America in 2018, I love Jason. We had so much fun together. Although, later Heard joked, he is allergic to being ignored. She explained that she often reads during downtime in between filming scenes, but Momoa instead wanted to gab and goof off with her. Apparently, he took matters into his own hands. As Heard explained, he adopted this method of ripping out the pages of my book so I would pay attention to him. It would drive me crazy because I'd have 30 pages left and it'd be gone. Now I just learned something very interesting. Hey, at least Heard already knows what kinds of shenanigans Momoa likes to get up to. Natalie Emmanuel joined the Game of Thrones cast in Season 3. Of course, since Jason Momoa's call Drogo got lobbed off by the end of Season 1, the two didn't overlap in their GOT careers. Even still, the cast has remained close. Plus, during a 2017 appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Emmanuel admitted to being obsessed with the fantasy show before landing the spot, so she was well aware of Momoa. And since he's clearly still close with the cast, we can surmise he's also aware of her. The two have some something else in common, they're both major contenders for the sexiest people alive. FHM put Emmanuel on its list for 100 Sexiest Women in the World 2015. She ranked in at 75. Meanwhile, Momoa was suggested as a nomination by John Legend, who was dubbed People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive in 2019. Legend told People in 2020, Going by my Twitter mentions when I was named, of who people said should have been picked over me, I got a lot of Jason Momoa. That's the one person that stood out in the Twitter feedback. In addition to potentially bonding over their placement on these lists, Emmanuel also looks like a blast to hang out with, judging from her Instagram presence. We know Momoa's a wild child himself, so we think these two would have so much fun. Sharon Duncan Brewster was the treasure of Dune, where she played Dr. Liette Kynes, alongside Jason Momoa's Duncan Idaho. Duncan Brewster had a lot to say about the first time she met Momoa, namely about how tall he was. Girl, keep talking. She told Comic Book in October 2021, I had my first scene with Jason Momoa. He comes out of his car with his entourage, and he walks towards me, and he's walking at me from a distance, but then he gets bigger, and then he gets bigger, and I just was like, is this going to stop? Duncan Brewster had to add in the midst of this, he's a lovely guy. This seems to be the universal consensus, and this experience of getting to know Momoa made Duncan Brewster understand all the hype surrounding the star. She went on, so I'm looking up here and going, oh, this is what they're talking about, because all my friends are like, oh my gosh, Jason Momoa, Jason Momoa, Jason Momoa. Sounds like a chant we can get behind. 
Jason Momoa and Sylvia Hooks co-starred in the 2019 Apple TV drama series C, a sci-fi production that chronicles a post-apocalyptic experience where everyone has lost their sight. Momoa, who plays the character Baba Voss, is at odds with Hook's on-screen persona, Queen Kane. But off-screen, it's pretty evident how much Hooks admires Momoa. In a 2019 interview with Collider, she was clearly impressed with his performance on set, saying, When you see Jason fighting, the fights are very real. Prior to her starring on C, Hook spoke with Men's Journal about some of her favorite things. When asked about what makes a man sexy in her eyes, Hook said, Self-humor. Don't take yourself too seriously. If a man's able to laugh about himself, that's good. You can be in love with a man or share his bed, but if there's no humor, there's nothing. Judging by Momoa's many goofy interviews, he has no trouble laughing at himself. I like him. He's a good boy. Where is he? In the same interview, Hooks also spoke about starring in Blade Runner 2049 and how she prepared physically, revealing, I worked out like crazy for this movie, six hours a day, six days a week, for three months before and six months during shooting. Clearly, she and action star Momoa could crush it together. Indigenous Canadian actor Jessica Matten starred alongside Jason Momoa in the Netflix series Frontier, a vivid portrayal of the fur trade industry in Canada. Momoa played Declan Harp, while Matten portrayed Sokanon. The role was very significant to Matten, who told Real Style Network in 2017, In a lot of ways, with the show and this character, I feel like I'm helping play a part in showing justice and what it means to be an Indigenous woman. Even if it's a character in the 1800s, I feel like the role has has helped humanize the experience of being an indigenous person in North America. Not only was the part worthwhile, but it also put her in contact with Momoa. When asked what it was like to work with him, Matten made mention of his then marriage to Lisa Bonet, adding, He has just been super supportive and a joy to work with. He is such a leader. He is very giving and a big family man. He is all around a good guy and full of energy. Momoa and Matten have also stayed in contact since Frontier's 2018 conclusion. In 2020, she told Elle, My buddy Jason Momoa is back in town shooting the second season of his show, so I'll meet up with him to say hi, grab drinks with friends, and then peace out again. That same year, she shared a birthday tribute to her former co-star on Instagram. Regina King and Jason Momoa both know what it takes to play DC superheroes. King starred as Angela Abar, Sister Knight, in the TV series Watchmen, while Momoa has obviously played Aquaman. King was born in 1971, making her eight years older than Momoa, but based on his dating history, we doubt this would ever be a problem for him. The two also got to hang out while on The Graham Norton Show, along with Amelia Clark in 2019, where King joked of their multiple connections. We have six degrees going on in so many different ways. Later during the episode, the panel spoke about Momoa shaving off his beard for Dune, and King was all about it. She said that Momoa going fresh-faced would work because he has a good chin. Thank you. Because some beards are on because they're mm -hmm. hiding a tiny chin. All yes. right, it's Regina. I think I've heard enough. <laughs> Although she seems to be single at the moment, Momoa might have some healthy competition. While appearing on Jimmy Kimmel Live in 2019, King said that she got to meet her celeb crush once, who was not, in fact, Momoa, but rather, Sam Elliott. She said while smiling big, Oh my god, I love that man. And the mustache is real. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. just like, <laughs> it's perfect. Sounds like Momoa better act fast. French actor Palm Clementieff is another leading lady we could see dating Jason Momoa. The two have a roundabout connection through Guardians of the Galaxy, with Clementieff playing Mantis in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This gross bug lady is my new friend. I'm learning many things like I'm a pet and ugly. Conversely, Momoa once auditioned for a part in the first Guardians movie, telling Entertainment Weekly in 2018, I met the Russo brothers, who are amazing. It was one of the best meetings I've ever had. I was going to do something with them, which unfortunately didn't work out. But that one hiccup didn't stop Momoa from later landing the part of Aquaman, and the rest is history. The DCEU got him instead of the MCU. Meanwhile, Clementieff spoke at the first sequel's premiere and said it was a dream come true to get cast as Mantis. 
scientists. She added, I'm a little bit weird in the movie, which is cool. Momoa and Clementiev were actually both at the 2017 Denver Comic Con, where their respective events for Aquaman, Game of Thrones, and Guardians of the Galaxy were held on the same days. So, we have reason to believe they might have crossed paths at some point. If not, they definitely should soon. Rose McGowan famously gave Jason Momoa a big smooch right on the lips on the red carpet. The kiss occurred at the Los Angeles premiere for Conan the Barbarian, a 2011 film starring Momoa as, you guessed it, Conan, while McGowan played an evil sorceress. McGowan caught up with Complex to discuss how their version was different from the 1982 film starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, and she felt that Momoa was a major reason for its success. She explained, Our movie goes more into the overall mythology of Conan versus it being just an ordinary remake. The guy who was the creator of the original character, Robert E. Howard, died when he was 30, I believe, but I think he would be immensely pleased with this version and with Jason Momoa being cast as Conan because he wrote the character to be an authentic barbarian. I think we found that. Clearly, McGowan thought very highly of Momoa. The two fought each other in the film, which typically makes for a little fun off-screen. Even though the movie itself was considered cheesy at best, well, most people thought the same about the Schwarzenegger ones. Enough talk! The New York Times had some nice things to say about McGowan's portrayal and her on-screen feud with Momoa. She's pretty and pretty ridiculous, but the digital Sandman her character summons up to fight Conan, which burst out of the ground like rockets and explode into dust, are nifty. So there you have it. Nifty. Just like an off-screen relationship between these two would be. We believe Australian model Jessica Gomes has what it takes to create a promising relationship with Jason Momoa. The two worked together on the 2017 film Once Upon a Time in Venice, where Momoa played Spider and Gomes was Nola, aka Bruce Willis's on-screen love interest. Gomes herself joked with the Daily Telegraph about the age gap represented here, saying, Yes, he's 60, he's my dad's age, so that was pretty full-on. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm with Bruce Willis right now and we're making out. Based on her comments, she'd likely be more comfortable with somebody a bit younger. These days, the Aussie beauty likes to keep busy with beach days and loads of time in nature, just based on her Instagram presence. So clearly, she and Momoa seem to have lots in common. In fact, Momoa is a huge fan of the land down under. While he told the Daily Telegraph how fond he is of the food and booze there, his favorite part of the country is its residents. Momoa said, What makes Australia so beautiful, I think, is just the people, the great people who work hard and play hard, and they have a great outlook on life. Clearly, in this sense, Gomes fits the bill. Surfs up anyone? Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.